a new coach and Mike Mike McDaniel's. Or, yeah. So now, still there's there's still some uncertainty because we heard it throughout the course of the year about your quarterback position. Mm -hmm. You know, was he going to stay? Was he going to go? Yeah. There were trade rumors. Do you think that there are the organization is committed to Tua? Because again, like I said, you've already your your head coach of last year is already gone. Now you're moving into a new season. Off season is here. Do you think there are going to be some other moves uh, possibly uh, that possibly could shake up the organization? Because like I said, yeah. there are rumors out there, uh, trade rumors with, with Tua. Yeah, I think I think the hiring of Mike McDaniel is actually the the showing the of commitment to Tua. Okay. In my in okay. my mind, being That's an good. offensive coach and, and being there to be able to develop him and really, you know, commit to him. Cause I think, you know, that's, that's what you need. I know, I know Tua, like, you know, great dude. And yeah. he, he kept a, he kept his mindset, you know, solid mm -hmm. through the season, but I can only imagine like how difficult that was right. to be hearing, you know, the Deshaun rumors. Every week. It was, every yeah, week. every week it was right. like, oh yeah, it's going to happen. It's yeah. going to happen. Right. You know, right. but he stayed, you know, level Even set here. throughout the whole thing. And now this season, you know, I hope for, you know, the team, but really for, for Tua too, to just be able to just, He's a quarterback. Free without He's a lot the guy. of these things. You know what I mean? Let from, him be the, the guy. Because, yeah. you know, for that's what we need. Would you that. like to see Tua stay? Yeah, yeah, I would like yeah. to see Tua stay. Yeah. I think, man, I think uh, he's got a lot of talent. Um, he's a good guy in the locker room. He works hard. You know, he's got a he's got a he's got an arm on him. Man. Oh, I already know. I told you before you <laughs> sat down, I worked out when I you know, I'm from Alabama, I go to the facility, I go on campus uh, from time to time, and I worked out with him when he was a true freshman. This is when Calvin really and some of the other guys, Judy, they were on, uh, they were still in, in college, I think this junior, senior year, and they wanted me to run routes. And so they were trying to get Jalen to come out there. They, they, mm. was, they was like, man, teach us some stuff, blah, 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 blah. They couldn't find Jalen anywhere. So they was like, man, it's like, we just got to hold a tour. And I was like, who? They said, yo, bro, they said, they said, he's the real deal. They said, honestly, I said, they said, if, if Jalen wasn't here, he would be our starting quarterback right now. Mm. I'm like, what? <laughs> I said, as a true freshman, yeah, they was like, bro, yeah. just watch. Right. Bro, he came out there, dude. We was out there for about an hour and a half. Bro, he didn't miss a route. I made him, I corrected one adjustment, and that was on the bang eight, because when I ran on, on the bang eight, it's your fourth outside step. You know, that ball should be already gone as a quarterback. I mean, he, he doesn't play quarterback. You know, he throws I know, I know, <laughs> I know quarterback. But he knows, you know what I mean? He already knows, too. Like, on that fourth outside step on the bang eight, that ball should be halfway to you or right there in, in, in your hands. Right. And when I came out, I saw him throw it, and it was a little behind. And I said, Tua, I said, Tch, I shouldn't see you throw that ball. That was the only correction mm. I made. Mm. Ran that route again. Dude, I've never seen, as a true freshman, but I've never seen anything like it. <laughs>